What is up everyone? We are back with a cherry perfect run and this is a level I had not done yet. Uh, I think this level is actually quite uh, interesting. It's a little bit long and definitely one that maybe people overlook sometimes but yeah it's quite it's quite a fun one. So that first section when you're in the the sewer uh, what I really like is the little design in the back you can see like a uh, small mushrooms maybe a Nintendo reference, I don't know. Uh, then you have like different uh, yeah, gang things. So I think the back is pretty fun. You have like a, I don't know if you notice as well on the top right, uh, Galsia was here mentioned. <laughs> so yeah, sounds like Galsia was actually here. But anyway, uh, to give you a couple of tips and tricks on this level. So what, uh, what I like to do in order to continue the, the combo and uh, get the perfect here is uh, wait for every time for the next person to come in. So what you can do on Cherry is once you're on top of someone and they, they are dead, you can still kind of keep them with you, but it triggers the next character to come in. So that's actually a good way. For those girls, uh, it's actually quite efficient to just uh, go straight at jump and jump like this. And here I found a way to get the combo going. So you have to throw that knife, which will hit the Francis on the other side of the screen. And then you can take the chicken. And basically that uh, makes you, uh, yeah, give you the possibility to continue that combo. So it's the only way as far as I know. Uh, then you just have to be a little bit uh, careful with um, all the hazards going on on this stage. There's a lot of, uh, lot of hazards uh, in order to be able to continue it. So here I use a little speedrun hack to, to push these guys. So the way they come out of the screen, if you do like a flying kick, they will actually just fall. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. I don't know if it was expected, but it definitely works pretty well once you get the timing. So. So yeah, you can see that I was able to continue uh, the combo until then, uh, which uh, yeah does give you a lot of points, uh, and uh, and is is yeah something you can do. There is a way to get this combo to continue to the combo and probably to the end of the stage. I'm sure some people have done it, but uh, yeah, here I failed because I I didn't really pick the the chicken. So. That section with the three Big Ben and the, the Kobo can be a little bit challenging. I have to say in the beginning when I was uh, trying to, 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 yeah, still grinding the game in the beginning, I, I was uh, dying a lot here. So yeah, the, it's usually a good place to use a star and if you optimize it properly, you can go quite far. And here I got hit by that bug where I didn't really get in, so I lost the combo, which I would usually continue into that next section. But anyway, uh, this is not, again, for the points, this is mostly just uh, trying to get a perfect. So, so far it was going okay, but that uh, next section with the biking girls can be a little bit challenging. So, just the way they charge, they did fix the pixel around them when they charge, it was a lot worse before. But you, you still have to be very careful, it's kind of super sensitive the way that uh, they can hit you. And you can stop them with cherry forward special, but it can be risky as well, just because sometimes you're, you're stuck, there is like a recovery frame. And uh, one thing about the, this game that you really, a couple of things that you have to, to, to figure out in order to improve your gameplay, of what I found that helped me, is uh, figuring out which move will uh, trigger some kind of sl sl slow recovery. Because some moves actually have almost zero recovery frame, so if something happens, you you can click another move and you'll be able to react straight away. So typically if you do the defensive special of Cherry, uh, there's no problem to doing a second one if you need to, if like someone is attacking you. But if you do a forward special, um, however, then you're stuck. If someone attacks you and you know you can press as much as you want, nothing is going to happen. So knowing, knowing for each character which one um, are doing this, you know, which moves have, can protect you and which moves are safe, is, uh, is quite essential, I would say. To continue about the level, uh, yeah, I was trying to manage those girls. Just a mix of jumping around, avoiding them. Once you, as long as you don't panic, it's it's kind of okay. I couldn't continue that combo, even though I wanted to, but uh, but yeah, it's uh, also possible to continue it all the way. And since I had time, I decided to also take my time in uh, beating up each guy uh, and, and yeah, baiting them. And this Kevin can be super annoying, so. It's better to just throw. So yeah, here that was actually a good example where I did my forward special and I almost got hit by Galsia, I think. It was probably like a pixel away. Usually they, it's not very forgiving just because it was around. Uh, and yeah, it took me some time to be able to turn and hit him. So, so yeah, with Cherry you have to be careful. I've seen some other players that don't use a forward special that much just because of that. Uh, because yeah, it can be quite risky. 
hitting her up. So this is my favorite technique. Uh, it's super efficient. You can do it on the bosses as well. Here I didn't know what was going on, so when you don't know sometimes it's better to, to be safe. That fire is usually good because you know they're gonna charge at you. So, so yeah, it's likely they're gonna be in front of you. So that's why I'm, I'm doing here. Uh, I'm just maximizing that. Yeah, so yeah, and that was it. I managed to clean up the place, still throw some things, but nobody was there. And just for good measure, I like to use that eight ball, just cause it's uh, kind of cool and funny. You can take all those uh, goodies for the points. Uh, it helps your score. So it's, so it's fun to try to, to get a high score, even though like by now a lot of people have done the full stage combo. So if you want to be on the leaderboard quite high, you have to do almost like a full stage combo, at least on PlayStation 4. And, the, and just to show you the little rule, good is that you can get, uh, because we don't want to be rude. Uh, well, that was actually not intended, a pun that was not intended. So Barbron and his red socks, he, and the uh, nice shoes actually. So he, uh, he posed me some trouble, so uh, I think it can be a little bit difficult, but then uh, Luke actually gave me a couple of tips. You really have to get him on his second punch, so avoid the first one, and then the second one you should be able to reach him, even with Cheru, which has have quite a small reach before he hits you. So that's what I did here. Also use a little bit of defensive special when he does his uh, kicks because it's extra damage and I had, uh, I had the health to do it, so why not? Here I was getting a little bit uh, maybe tense, you know, like to avoid the things. I didn't want to make a mistake, so I just went super safe with the star and that's it. Barbon was dead and uh, I mastered this uh, stage perfect, which I was pretty happy about. So. And a little backflip to finish it off. So yeah, thanks uh, guys for watching. This was kind of just taking you through it. And uh, we'll get some more levels soon. Next is Chinatown, which I'm working on. So subscribe if you haven't so uh, to see you. Peace.